The ultimate treasure is not diamonds, apparently. Today we'll be revealing the most valuable gemstone in the world, and now I know what you're thinking. But aren't diamonds the most expensive gemstones? This is a twist you might not see coming even if you're a seasoned jewelry aficionado. Not gold, not platinum, what could possibly be more valuable than diamonds? So what is this mystery gem and why does it leave even diamonds in the dust? Well, that's exactly what we'll explore today. We'll uncover its secrets from its mind-blowing rarity to the astronomical prices it fetches at auctions. We had to confirm the undisputed king through much research. Watch until the end of this video to crack the code on the most coveted gem of all. So we've established that diamonds weren't the top dog, right? This isn't your average sparkling rock. We're talking about the creme de la creme of gemstones, the one that makes even diamonds say wow. But before we crown the champion, let's build some suspense. Imagine walking into an auction, surrounded by the world's wealthiest collectors, all vying for the same prize. The air crackles with anticipation, whispers of astronomical bids floating through the room. What could possibly command such a frenzy? Brace yourselves because it's about to get legendary. The mystical allure of blue diamond, forget everything you thought you knew about blue, forget baby blues, forget azure skies. The blue diamond takes it to a whole new level. Picture a rich, vibrant sapphire, infused with the mesmerizing depth of a starry night. That's kind of the energy we're dealing with here. But here's the catch, these beauties are incredibly rare, like finding a four-leaf clover on the moon rare. That rarity, my friends, is what catapults them into the stratosphere of value. Think diamonds are a girl's best friend, well, blue diamonds might just steal their crown. In 2016, a 14.62 carat blue diamond named the Oppenheimer Blue strutted onto the auction stage. The result? A staggering $57.5 million shattering records and leaving even the most seasoned diamond connoisseurs speechless. That translates to a mind-blowing $3.93 million per carat. Put it this way, you could buy a private island, a small one, but hey, an island, for that price. And so, what makes blue diamonds so darn special? It all boils down to a magical little element called boron. This microscopic intruder gives them their unique, otherworldly blue hue. But boron is picky, choosing only a few select minds around the world to call home. This exclusivity, coupled with the stunning color, creates a demand that skyrockets like a gemstone-fueled rocket. And the winner is Sir Drumroll, pleased at the blue diamond. Its rarity, mesmerizing color, and historical significance crown it the undisputed champion of valuable gemstones. So, the next time you see a diamond, remember, there's a whole other world of hidden brilliance waiting to be discovered. And who knows, maybe one day a blue diamond might just wink at you from across the room. Its silent promise of beauty and value, enough to turn even the most dedicated diamond lover's head. The Mystique of Blue Diamonds from Hollywood glamour to lab-grown sparkle. Buckle up for a dive into the world of blue diamonds where rarity meets dazzling beauty and Hollywood glitz mingles with scientific innovation. These are not your average rocks, folks. They've captivated hearts and imaginations for centuries, even appearing in blockbuster films like Titanic and sparking legends of curses. Beyond the silver screen, blue diamonds are so special because less than 0.02% of all mined diamonds are blessed with this mesmerizing blue hue, making them more precious than most fancy colored diamonds. And that rarity comes with a price tag that would make your head spin. Even a tiny blue diamond, a fraction of a carat, can easily set you back five figures. And the record-breaking ones at auction? They regularly fetch over a million bucks per carat. But wait, there's a twist. Enter the lab-grown blue diamond. Thanks to science, we can now create these beauties with relative ease making them more accessible to many more people. So, if you've ever dreamed of rocking a blue diamond, this is your chance. And now, let's talk about the color itself. Blue diamonds come in a spectrum, from faint whispers of blue to deep, mesmerizing shades that rival the summer sky. But unlike other fancy colors, they have a unique characteristic. They don't get excessively dark. Why? Because nature throws in a touch of gray, adding a touch of complexity to their brilliance. Whether you're drawn to their Hollywood legacy, their breathtaking color, or the scientific marvel of lab-grown options, there's a blue diamond out there waiting to capture your heart. Even a small piece of this magic can add a touch of extraordinary to your life, but the question on everyone's mind is, are they right for me? Can they handle being worn every day, or are they just delicate little showpieces? Spoiler alert, they're tough cookies. 
As the hardest natural mineral on earth, they can only be scratched by, wait for it, other diamonds, so these babies can handle wear and tear like champs. Now let's talk matching blues, it's like trying to find your soulmate in a room of strangers. With natural blue diamonds being so rare, finding perfect twins is mission impossible. You might not see many matching pairs or sets out there and that's okay. Jewelers often embrace the uniqueness of these gems, using them as stunning standouts or pairing them with other fancy colored diamonds for a truly one-of-a-kind masterpiece. But here's the good news, if you're open to lab-grown blue diamonds, finding complementary stones is a breeze. Thanks to science, these beauties are more readily available, making it easier to create gorgeous match sets. The Hope Diamond, a sparkly saga of history, mystery and maybe even a curse. Today we're diving into the captivating story of the Hope Diamond, a blue diamond so legendary, it practically tells the entire history of blue diamonds itself. Buckle up, because this isn't just about sparkle and price tags, it's a journey through social upheaval, royal drama and maybe even a sprinkle of mystery. From India to France, the Tavernier Blue takes the stage. Imagine the 17th century, a world obsessed with jewels and India reigns supreme as the source of the rarest gems, Enter Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, a gem merchant who stumbles upon a magnificent blue diamond weighing a whopping 112 carats. This wasn't just any blue diamond, folks, it was the Tavernier blue, a stone unlike any other. Naturally, the gem caught the eye of King Louis XIV of France, known for his extravagant lifestyle. He snatched it up and had it recut to a dazzling 67 carats, renaming it the French blue. But remember, History isn't always kind to royalty. The French Revolution swept through the land and the French blue, along with the crown jewels, vanished. The mystery deepens, the Hope Diamond emerges, fast forward a few decades and a blue diamond mysteriously appears in London, smaller but undeniably similar to the French blue. Could it be? Was it the legendary gem, recut and disguised? Intrigue swirls as the diamond changes hands, eventually landing in the possession of Henry Philip Hope, a wealthy British banker. And thus, the Hope Diamond was born. But the story doesn't end there. The Hope Diamond's ownership passed through generations, each marked by tragedy and misfortune. Some whispered of a curse, fueled by the stone's tumultuous past. Whether truth or myth, the Hope Diamond's legend continued to grow, captivating the world with its beauty and its dark undertones. From kingly hands to hidden depths, the theories abound about the diamond's next owners, including King George IV of England, who might have sold it to settle debts. But one thing's certain, Henry Philip Hope owned a stunning blue diamond, listed in his estate after his death in 1839. This stone, now known as the Hope Diamond, wouldn't be linked to the French blue for many decades. Bad luck or bad timing, the curse debate heats up and now things get interesting. Subsequent owners of the Hope Diamond experienced more than their fair share of misfortune, economic ruin, even death. This fueled the curse narrative, leading some to believe the gem carried bad luck. Enter Evelyn Walsh McLean. One owner, Evelyn Walsh McLean, caught everyone's attention. She wore the Hope Diamond frequently, and tragedy seemed to follow her like a shadow. Her son died tragically, her husband's business ventures crumbled, and the couple faced immense personal hardship. Was the Hope Diamond to blame? The Hope Diamond finds a forever home. After passing through several more hands, the Hope Diamond finally found its eternal resting place in 1958. Henry Winston donated it to the Smithsonian Institution, where it now resides at the National Museum of Natural History, admired by over 100 million visitors the world's most famous gemstone. With its captivating history, legendary curse and dazzling beauty, the Hope Diamond has earned its title as the world's most famous gemstone. So there you have it, the dazzling saga of the Blue Diamond, from its mysterious origins to its legendary status as the Hope Diamond. We explored its rarity, its captivating color, and of course, the whispers of a curse. Remember, whether you believe in the curse or not, the Hope Diamond remains a powerful symbol reminding us of history's twists and turns, the allure of precious stones, and the enduring stories they tell. And who knows, maybe one day you'll stumble upon your own sparkling treasure, a gem that holds a story waiting to be told. Keep sparkling.